Well, we're back again. Yep. And this time we're in downtown Cleveland. Yep. We're at the East 55th uh, Pier right by the marina. Um, it's pretty busy down here today. But I'm not surprised. No, it, it's it's pretty. Yeah, and I sort of grew up at the the club right next to it. Yeah. So, I mean, you look back and you, you, you see the skyline of Cleveland. I mean, what a view. I mean, we're standing right on, on Lake Erie. Um, the lake is really calm today. And uh, not really. No, it's kind of busy? It, kind of it, rough? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be out there today. No? Okay. Well, you're no, the sailor, little, so. Yeah, it's a little choppy out there. It's not <laughs> as bad as it was Friday, but yeah, it's still a little choppy. Yeah. So, with it being a holiday, you know, it... it at, at the park, it, it you know people are coming out, and getting getting stuff done, and enjoying themselves, and I and I love that, um, especially after the past year, people yes. getting out and enjoying themselves. But we're on the uh, on the north side of I ninety, um, and on the south side of I ninety is pretty high crime area. Yes, and that definitely heightens the the risk factor, right? Yes, growing up. When my dad had his sailboat docked at the uh, yacht club, I guess you could call it a yacht club, whatever it was on the other side of this park, when I was training for cross country, I was allowed to run in the parking lot only. I was not allowed outside of the gate. He made that very clear. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to know that parking lot very well. <laughs> yeah, and, and even now, I mean, the, the boat isn't docked far from here at all. No. Um, I mean, we can almost see the, you know, see the yacht club where the, the boat is now. And he's even said to me that when they've slept on the boat, they've heard gunshots from across 90. Mm -hmm. So definitely higher risk factor out here. Um, but it seems like people are being really calm and really cool and which is great. You know, this is this is what life should be like. Yes. This calm and and. You know this is great so let's review we, we've hit we've talked a lot about transitional spaces mm -hmm. talked about being aware carrying your tools um, and you know and looking at the environment you're in and we've shown different environments and I'm hoping that people kind of get an idea of what we do um, one of the things I didn't say when we were at sheets because we we kind of got got sidetracked with uh, somebody walking up on us is that when you walk into a convenience store you know are you looking around are you looking at what the cashiers do are doing what's happening up there because I know I do I do too um, and I really I tried to go the opposite direction of where it is and kind of circle around to see what's going on so those are, are things that we have to look at in life to protect ourselves. And if you're out with someone else, watch their back and they'll watch your back. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we're kind of positioned in a way that, that we're looking in, in all the all directions, at least three major directions. Mm -hmm. um, our back is to, to the water, but there's not too many people behind us. And we keep, and you notice we keep looking around too. Um, but those are, are, are all factors and I, and I'm, you know, it is my hope that people start paying more attention to their world, making themselves less of a victim, um, and staying out of the phone. Yes. You know, uh, get training, learn how to de-escalate, learn how to, uh, what's, you know, situational awareness looks like or environmental awareness looks like, uh, and how to do that. Learn, learn de-escalation techniques and, and things like that and learn to recognize those, those cues that are coming at you. So appreciate you, you following us on this, on this journey. Um, we're gonna wrap it up, kind of enjoy the rest of our Memorial Day um, and kind of enjoy this beautiful weather. Yes. So take care everybody.